Well, first off, good morning. So you're probably wondering, first off, what in the world is this on Kevin's head? Uh, this is called a do-rag. Um, you got any black and brown friends, ask them what it is. It's also called a wave cap and they can explain it to you. So, all right. I am just not getting up in the morning as you can see. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a drink of BCAs, some superfoods, and some whole foods. Um, this really helps to snap my body out of a catabolic state. Um, so I can get ready for the day. Also, I train in the morning time So one of the first things I want to do is really just pump my body with a whole bunch of nutrients and amino acids So I can begin that muscle building process So I'm gonna take a little scoop of some BCAs This is some superfood I really like. Um, this kind is by Organic Burst um, I'm putting some maca powder in here tossing in some wheatgrass as well And with the BCAs it actually tastes pretty good so Max, hey, say hi to the camera. Come on, let's go for a walk. Love starting the day out with a nice walk in the morning time. Helps to get the metabolism going. Also, just helps you to warm up for the day. Especially since I work out, this is my this is my warm up before the actual workout. So it works out that way. Also, it's like one of the only times where you're kind of like by yourself, so I leave my phone at the house. I just kind of chill out, just enjoy the time, the quietness of the day before it starts getting chaotic. The only thing about this uh, walk though in the summertime is this Texas heat. So you already know, first thing I did was put on some sunblock before even coming outside, because this Texas heat is no joke. All right, so I just got done walking, Max. Uh, and now it's time for breakfast. Um, I try to keep it varied with breakfast, but I do have a staple one that I generally go to because it works for my schedule. Um, and that is a frittata with some leftover veggies, toss in some herbs and, herbs and spices, um, maybe a little bit of mozzarella, and then I'll also have a vegan power bowl on the side. I chop up some veggies earlier on in the week so that way I just have them in sweet bell peppers, and I also have some fresh basil. And then of course, Get about a good two tablespoons of mozzarella on here. So I'm gonna heat this in the microwave for about a minute. Um, then I'm gonna add in some almond milk and then top it off with some dried fruit and some nuts and seeds to boost the caloric content but also give it some flavor. I am headed out right now to the gym to go meet up with one of my closest buddies. Um, his name is Ruben. Um, we're gonna be training legs today, so hopefully it's not too brutal, but I had a good breakfast, as you can see. I used to prefer to work out in the afternoon right around lunchtime, but it actually works out better doing it this way because um, I'm able to hurry up and get finished, and then since I do most of my filming during the daytime, so I can get all that good daylight um, in there, it just makes sense for us to work out in the morning. My first corporate job was actually right here across the street from the gym. It's right there. So I'm looking at the old, but I'm heading up to the new. So if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know this is my homeboy, Ruben. How you doing? The man, the myth, the legend. Hello. Say hello to the people. How you doing, people? You gotta talk loud. This is a, this is a How you doing, people? Ruben sometimes needs a little bit of extra help and motivation in the gym. So what do the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> what? Breakers. Four and months right now. Four months and she's still killing in the gym. And this is my WCW. <laughs> <laughs>
just got done working out. Well, more playing around than working out today, really. Um, so I'm gonna have my post-workout meal, which is my Labrata shake. This is isolate whey protein, no carbs, no sugar, no fat, 25 grams of protein. I did about a scoop and a half. Then Labrata came out with this awesome superfood um, green mix powder, which tastes pretty good with the vanilla, so I mixed that in here as well. So Ruben has a pretty interesting story. Um, he didn't always look this way, right? No, you were like, no. what's your heaviest again? Like 185. But you know, talk to the people though about the role that diets played in your life. So realistically speaking, I mean diet played uh, a major role in my life. I was working out like crazy and then eating all the bad foods and all the wrong foods. Definitely, I mean, that's when I discovered IG accounts such as yourself and a lot of other people, a lot of other healthy foodies out there. And I had a, always liked to cook, so I just kind of used that as a tool to try to just recreate some uh, unhealthy meals and recreate them myself in the kitchen to where they were very nutritious and were doing um, wonders for my body. So I mean, that helped big time. So I mean, when they say that you can't out-train a bad diet, that's, that's very true. You, all right, y'all, so we're gonna go now. We're gonna stretch and then leave this place. Peace out. Uh, all right, so I just got all cleaned up. Um, you actually caught me on a meal prep day. It's the end of the week, and usually my food is kind of running pretty low. So I already went to the grocery store and did a quick re-up. With this meal prep, you know, I used to do a whole bunch of just like, you know, the individual meals, but it works out better for my schedule if I just kind of make the ingredients separately. So I'm gonna make a batch of chicken, and I'm gonna make a batch of fish, and then I'm gonna roast some potatoes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the skillet with a little bit of this olive oil. I'm gonna get it really nice and hot, set it to about medium high heat, because again, I want to sear the chicken breast on here, and then I'm gonna um, toss them over, sear the other side, and then put the entire thing here in the oven. Before I prep the um, fish, I want to show you what I'm going to eat for my post-workout meal. Remember, I just got done working out and I had to um, prep my chicken. That took about 20 minutes and all. So I've got my the cooked chicken breast that we just made. Then I got a little side salad of just some spinach and mixed greens. Then I already prepped some basmati rice that was already made. Um, got a little bit of this sesame ginger um, dressing that I just really love. About two tablespoons of that and then I'm gonna eat half of this avocado. So a lot of people stay away from eating white rice because you know they're like, hey, it's a simple carb, um, and they're right. Um, this is a long grain, so it's a little bit different. So it's got a much lower glycemic index than the um, sugary, sugary white rice. But there are a lot of benefits though of having simple carbs after a nice hard workout. So keep that in mind as well. I'm not a huge fan of the out-of-the-box seasonings, those packets and stuff like that, but this company is actually pretty good. It's called Spiceologist, but this one is called Maui Waui, and it's a it's a really fruity teriyaki rub, and so it, it actually tastes pretty good um, on, on white fish, so that's why I'm gonna use it. All right, so my meal prep is almost finished, so I'm gonna start getting ready um, for some calls. So when I'm not in the kitchen, literally, I spend the majority of my time on my computer. So this is my view for literally the remainder of my day. If I'm not in the gym and I'm not in the kitchen, I'm literally looking at these two screens. A lot of people don't know that I um, actually film and I edit all of my own content um, right now. That I do work with sometimes with like partners and they'll offer to go ahead and do it or um, I'll do a collaboration and somebody else wants to go ahead and edit it. But for the stuff that you see on a daily basis, that's all me, so. All right, so I literally have about a good quick two minutes before my next call, so I'm gonna um, um, eat my next meal. This is the meal right here. So I've got my red potatoes, then I've got some um, grilled asparagus that I had earlier, and then this is my, my newly baked cod. So this is gonna be um, my next meal. So I finished up my conference calls for a bit, so now I'm gonna head to one of my favorite coffee shops to do some work. To the right. Wow, the Texas.
So I'm about to have a quick working meeting, um, quick meeting rather, with uh, my buddy of mine working on this really cool project. I'll show y'all in a second. I'm gonna hop on Google Hangout, but I did bring my meal with me, so I'm gonna show you what I'm having to eat for my late lunch. Um, it's usually almost like a kind of a snack meal. I like to kind of combine the elements, so um, I'll show you. Oh, and I got this really cool bento box um, by, um, by Bent Go. Um, I love it. So you open it up. It's got your utensils right there on top. Um, so the bottom part <coughs> is got my chicken breast and some lemon and then some spinach. This is what I know. It's pretty boring, but um, the chicken tastes really great. But um, I'm not really huge on salad dressing. Plus, I already had some earlier today. Um, so this one I can just kind of scarf down myself. I would have put some tomatoes in there, but just didn't really even think about it. The second part is my treat. So this I have some blueberries I've got these golden kiwis which are absolutely amazing then I got some crisp bread this is just rye bread like kind of crackers almost and then on there is like that is avocado yes that's right I said avocado so I basically took some avocado mixed it in with some coconut yogurt um, added in a little bit of sweetener and then of course added some cacao um, this is real cacao, so this is packed with fiber, magnesium, um, and antioxidants. Say hi to people. So hey y'all, so this is Binyam. Binyam is one of my closest friends. He also helps me out a lot on the marketing side. Wait a minute. <laughs> as you can see, he's also a professional joke teller as well. So we're about to work on this awesome project um, that we got coming up for Fit Man Cook. It's gonna be a summer type of hangout series that we're looking to put together, so cross your fingers. Benjamin, you had the stuff ready? Do you have the stuff ready, Ben? I sent it. Okay, so that was about three hours worth of work. Um, Uh-oh, I feel like it's about to rain, or it is raining. Anyway, I am headed back home now. Uh, to go ahead and let Max out if he hasn't already chewed through the outside balcony already um, And also gonna make my dinner so you can see what I'm gonna eat Hey man, hey buddy oh, I'm about to make um, dinner now or this is my later meal um, it seems like it's going to be a big night, so I'm probably going to have at least one more meal after this. But this is what I generally have for dinner. It's usually like a massive salad or something with um, with a good lean source of protein and lots and lots of veggies. So I opt for going for the raw veggies later on in the evening because sometimes I'll get like really hungry. And when I eat raw veggies, I end up feeling much fuller. So pretty simple ingredients here. I've got a cucumber, got some cherry tomatoes, some sweet bell peppers, you know, the mini kind. Um, and then a spinach and um, green mixture. Um, maybe add some shaved almonds or uh, maybe some of these pecans. I like to add in stuff like that because it really helps to boost the caloric content of the meal and especially at nighttime. I don't want to be going to bed too late um, feeling really, really hungry because again, knowing myself, I will get up and I'll go and eat something. And Plus, um, I think based off what I've eaten today, I haven't exactly met my 3,000 calorie goal, so adding in some fresh nuts will allow me to go ahead and do that. So I'm probably gonna use this dressing on it. I really love this stuff. It's by Bragg as well. It's fat free. Um, it's, made, it's made with apple cider vinegar, um, some fruits in Hawaiian noni, and then um, some ginger as well. So it's got a great fresh flavor to it. Um, I took about an hour break just to kinda uh, collect my thoughts, um, watch some TV, and chill out for a second. Um, I've got a video that I've got to um, take care of that I've got to get edited for someone. Um, and then I also just want to check my email. And also just go through social media, go through Twitter, go through Instagram. Um, 
Facebook, sometimes YouTube when I remember, and I'll just go and check some of the comments there and answer some people. It's important to me because I want to feel connected to you all. I want to feel connected to the people who are following Fit Man Cook and who are benefiting, or they say they're benefiting from the um, from the content. Um, before when I started out Fit Man Cook, it was like about, <laughs> I want to say that the following was really hardcore into fitness and they're into bodybuilding. That's what I was in. And it wasn't until I got an email from someone. I remember the day I, I posted this protein cake a long time ago on, on Instagram. And I got an email from someone that same day and they said, hey, I saw your cake and I just had gastric bypass surgery. And I wanted to know if it would be okay for me to, um, to have some of that cake. So they really got me thinking that like, the Fit Man Cook is a bit, it was, it was changing. Still have that hardcore like fitness enthusiast and bodybuilding audience, but I also have a lot of people who are just brand new into um, into eating healthy, and they're not really competing for a physique, right? But they're competing for their health. They're competing to beat diabetes. They're competing to beat heart disease, and so it's always like a challenge to me to find out what is that fine balance, um, and and how can I create content that actually speaks to everyone, that everyone can get something from it. This late hour, I don't like to have a huge heavy meal because I'm really not gonna be doing anything where I actually need all that energy that I'll be putting into my body. So I like to keep it very lean um, and very light. So usually something like an egg white um, scramble would be nice. Um, and that's probably what I'm gonna make tonight. And of course, it is not a proper, proper snack, late night snack with that little bit of good old fashioned Sriracha, yeah. I keep falling asleep, so one thing I've learned is to listen to my body. Um, if I try to fight through it, I'm gonna wake up with drool down my lip and ruin my laptop. I'm gonna drool on that too, so I'm gonna go hit the sack. And the last thing that I really wanna do is dishes, but I just gotta clean up the kitchen because I hate to wake up in the morning time and the kitchen is a mess. And with that, I am officially signing off for the night. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a really long day, but um, kind of an eventful day. Uh, maybe next time I do one of these vlogs, I can take you out behind the scenes to show you what it takes to actually do one of my recipe videos. With that, hey, keep it healthy but never ever boring. Boom. <sighs>